Hello, everybody. This is a Shadowbox, and joining me as always is Dr. Vesuvius. Hello there. And welcome back to Westbridge Hills Farm. Um, of course, last time uh, we were joined by our unpaid intern, uh, Andrew, who helped us uh, get that field turned over. And the time before that was, of course, our very special guest, uh, other slightly more unpaid intern, Taff. Huh. <sighs> It's nice having some cheap help around, isn't it? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we've Don't got... Don't me when you say that. <laughs> That's rude. We've got uh, the barley on field 16 is still growing, but it looks like field 17 is ready to be harvested, and I think I just stood on your shoulders there for a second, sorry. Um, so, yeah, what should we do about that? Um... Um, harvest? Ding, ding, ding. Yay! This know. time is going to be a little bit different, though, because it is barley instead of corn. Woo! And I'm not going to drive the harvester this time. I've been doing that too much. Right. Oh, had a little bit of a computer kind of froze up there for a second. I have to warn you, in advance, my driving might not be 100% today. Has it ever been 100%? <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> okay. But I you still... see, I have finally given up on the Xbox controller. And I now have my steering wheel set up. Ah... So, um, I'd be driving from the cab in proper sim mode. I'm I should get a steering wheel. Plus all the commands that I used to use the, um, the gamepad for, I've no idea what the keyboard keys are anymore, so... Um, it's like a whole new game for me. I have to relearn everything. <laughs> I'm debating getting a steering wheel. I've got quite a few driving games now. I've picked up a uh, Assetto Corsetta, or however you say that, the Italian driving game that uh, Frugal Sim highlighted on his channel a couple days ago. Uh, is it Assetto Corsa? That's it. Assetto Corsa, yeah. And then I've also got Grid, Autosport, of course, Euro Truck, uh, American Truck when it comes out, Farming Sim. I'm probably going to invest in a wheel sometime soon. Oh, it's definitely well worth it. I mean, you know how getting the yoke changed flight simming. Yeah. Steering wheel's exactly the same for driving. My thing is, I'm kind. Of, I play farming some more than I play all the other games like put together. So. I kind of want to wait and get that SciTech farming sim peripheral when it comes out. Though I haven't heard anything new about that in a little while, so it might not even be a thing anymore, I don't know. I hope it is, okay, that was a pretty neat might... idea. Neat idea, but there might be a bit of a wait for it. Yeah. And I'm definitely going to be playing American Truck Sim when it comes out, so I might as well pick up a wheel for that. I doubt the Farming Sim peripheral will work well for that. Right, what's the working width on this header? Do you know that? Uh, six meters, I want to say. Okay. I'll try 5.8, because there's a little bit of an overlap. Yeah, that's Kinda probably a good idea. GPS setup, so... Speaking of American nice. trucks, I can't wait until some American truck mods start coming out for this game. Oh, yes. Okay, that's a good line, but I forgot to turn the harvester on. Oh. Try that one more time. So, um, unfold harvester. Stop. On harvest, and it lowers automatically. And 
Zinga. Ah, you're chopping up all the straw. Oh, okay. Uh, enable straw swath. There it goes. There we go. Oh, I've gone through all the trouble of setting the uh, steering wheel, and I'll be using GPS mod, so what I have to do is just keep on the accelerator. <laughs> that was worth it. Hey, you had to drive over to the start of the field, right? Mm. Fair enough. I'm looking at that sky there, it's um... Yeah, I think we're in for some bad weather soon. Hopefully not. That'd put, that'd certainly put a damper on our harvesting. Should probably check the weather forecast. Oh, it's supposed to be sunny today. Uh, we got bad weather in a couple of days though. Right. On ahead for that. That'll likely be an uh, animal care day instead of a crop care day, then. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, oh, 50 eggs ladies will need attending to shortly. I'm not going no, um, to, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of disappointed at the rate the sheep seem to be producing wool. I was going to say, I'm seeing a fat 0% there. I don't know what's the deal with that. No, th their productivity is a hundred percent, but they're they have zero percent of a wool pallet produced. Yeah, boy! Look at that! Perfect. Well, uh, yeah. Looking yep, good. No gap. Are you using the GPS mod to turn or are you turning yourself? No, I'm turning manually. Gotcha. There we go. You know, I've been okay. thinking. Go on, you first. Um, it might be worth it to invest in a handful of cows and just feed them the straw, and then they'll start producing solid manure for us, and then we can get a green a couple of greenhouses up and running. Though cows are kind of frighteningly expensive. Hmm. Like, we don't even have enough money to get ten cows. Yeah, I just... Personally, I think that's an investment for a bit, bit further down the line. I mean, I'm not the farming expert, but that doesn't stop me having an opinion. <laughs> Shouting very loudly about it, like any politician. <clears throat> uh, hmm. Yeah, what would... Would less than ten cows produce enough manure to um, to run make a any green significant house. difference? Yeah, I think we need to get ourselves on a more secure financial footing with some basic crop sales before we branch out any further. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I mean, the chickens are, are, are doing the part. You know, they're 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 getting the money in for us. Um, but you know, the rest. As you say, the sheep have let you down. Which is weird, because they weren't this bad in uh, 2013. They are actually quite good in 
Well, we have a pallet over here, and it has two things of wool on it, but it still says wool 0%, so I don't know, maybe the, maybe the reporting thing is just off. Possibly. I'm going to cheat and use the external view. Alright, I've got a talking point for you. Okay. See, see what you think about this. Um, how about mods like GPS mod? Um, course play. Um, Auto combine, I think, is another one. Um, are they spoiling the game? I mean, they're basically doing large parts of the game for you. Mm -hmm. I've seen lots of Let's Plays where people have like five or six tractors buzzing around, all being run by um, course play. And like, it kind of gets away from the fact that you know, you're not really doing the farming yourself anymore. What do you think? I think all these mods have their place. Like, I like the GPS mod in uh, multiplayer because it keeps things nice and straight and you're not slamming into each other every, you know, five seconds. Or uh, it helps you not having to go back and clean up the field, so to speak. Um, it, you know, because if you do it right, you shouldn't have any extra left over. Um, isn't, it's also kind of realistic. Go on. It's also kind of realistic because most farming equipment, at least in the U.S., like for any large-scale farm, most of their equipment is outfitted with uh, GPS. Um, and but isn't sorry, learning how to drive the vehicles and not crash into each other really part of what the game should be about? I mean, it's also the th it's all. Th also, you know, another thing of, like, to each their own, like, personally, I enjoy using the GPS mod, but, you know, if you don't, then don't, and if someone else does, then they should be able to use it, and if, uh, you know, it's just, it comes down to how do you enjoy playing the game, and mm -hmm. when it comes down to course play, like, I probably wouldn't use course play for a multiplayer game, because you have, you know, people there to help you, like, you, and Taff, and... Uh, yeah. Stevens. Uh, but for single player, it can get kind of tiring going back and forth between a combine and a tractor. And, you know, you could hire someone for the combine and have them do the field and you drive the tractor. But, you know, what if you want to harvest? Well, you don't have anyone that can drive the tractor for you in single player, so that's where course play comes in. Mm -hmm. You can have a course play, get a driver, and unload your combine and take it back to store. Uh, you can... It, it's basically like course play, the way I see it is... Uh, it's basically letting you play a multiplayer game in single player. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I think they, mods like this have their place. I think as long as you don't overuse them and they don't take away you from your idea of the fun of the game. Yeah. And I auto mean, combine, I've never been a fan of personally, but it's <laughs> it's a perfectly valid playstyle actually to run everything with course play, because then you're taking on the role of like the farm manager, mm -hmm. you know, who's who is running a farm with you know a dozen employees under him. Exactly, and it's uh, it's just that different aspect of the game. Someone who's running a lot of course play might enjoy the business side of the game. You know, it's a limited business side of the game, but there's there's a business yeah. side of the game. Yeah. You know, you it would be cool if uh, there was you could if there was like a stock market and you could sell you know shares in your company or something like it. It would be really cool if you could merge 
something like uh, air hauler with farming simulator. <laughs> yeah. Where you get an actual like legitimate business simulation in the game. That would be rather amazing. <laughs> yeah. Or even or even just like Euro Truck. Euro Truck has a pretty good business side. It's not phenomenal, but it's mm. pretty good. What do you mention Euro Truck? Because that's thinking about it. That's got something in common with um, Farm Sim, uh, and that's that. Although it's got the business side, there's no real end game to it. Yeah. I mean, you can build up and build up, and in Euro Truck, you get to the point where all your um, all your employed drivers are bringing in so much money. You can just sit there and the money just keeps rolling in. Farm sim, again, the ultimate goal, if you set yourself, say, getting um, wind turbines. Wind turbines in 15? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the, thing, the things that bring the money in that cost millions. Right. Um, again, there's, there's like, there's no set end game. It just struck me as a coincidence. And that, I think, is where it's really good if you bring sort of your own story elements into the game with a bit of role playing. Like, decide, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to farm this farm. Until I get X hundred thousand dollars in order to move on and buy something else. You know what I mean? Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. Okay, let's get. Yep. How's that looking from outside? Yep. Looking pretty good. I missed a little bit on the last pass, but so far so good. Hey, you know what episode this is? Um, no, go on, tell me. It's episode nine. Nine? So what would that make the next episode? A new season? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> now we're finally going to get into double figures in this season. Wow. Oh, um, hope everyone's enjoying. Thanks to all our subscribers and viewers and commenters and everyone. Yeah, it's uh, working out pretty nice. You know, it's uh, it's also the first season we've used a standard in-game map and mostly standard equipment. In fact, we don't have any mod equipment out right now. Well, because we started this so soon after the, um, after the game launched. Yeah. I don't really mind it though. I actually kind of enjoyed the the default equipment. There's nothing mm. bad about it. I wish they had an American truck in there instead of the man, or in addition to the man truck. But yeah, having a semi in there at all is a step in the right direction. Definitely. And the man truck they have in here is so much better than the lizard truck they had in 2013. <laughs> Well, 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 well. Ooh, that was close. So, what right. steering wheel do you have? I'm the only YouTuber in existence who doesn't have a G27. <laughs> I'm cheap. Um, I went for a um, 
Logitech GT Driving Force. Okay. Which is, to put it in perspective, it's technology I think is about on a par with the um, G25. It was about released about the same time. Uh, it doesn't have manual, uh, it doesn't have the heat shifter that the G27 does. So it's only got like progressive gear shift. Okay. And the pedals have no clock. Primarily That's designed, that. I think, for a PlayStation. Ah. Uh, but it does work absolutely perfectly well on a PC. Is that what you use for a Euro truck as well? Yes. Yeah. It's actually got more buttons on the wheel than the G27 does, I believe. I'm going to have to take a look at which one I want to get. Because the H shifter would be really nice for, you know, Euro truck or... Uh, American mm. Truck Simulator, but a progressive shifter would work just fine, too. So do you have it mapped where your shifter is working with drive control, or...? Um, no, to be honest, um, all I'm using the wheel for is steering and acceleration and braking. Gotcha. I, w I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. I may have a bit more of a play, see what else I can configure. Yeah, configuring it was a bit of a pain. Um, with the default configuration, you know, as soon as you put your foot on the accelerator, your camera view pans round, and all sorts of weird stuff happens. Oh, really? So, um, I had to basically delete all of the existing settings and just start adding things in one at a time. What doesn't help is about half of the buttons aren't recognized by farming simulator. So you had to, like, remap them where, like, your gas pedal yeah. is actually hitting W or something? Well, the gas pedal I'm actually using the, the pedals for, that worked out okay. Mm -hmm. Except that it's detecting... When I take my foot off the accelerator, it automatically brakes. I'm not sure if that's a feature of farm sim or if it's a feature of the, the way the pedals are mapped. Like, it actually applies the brakes or it just stops? Like It, it just actually applies coasts. the brakes. Uh. So if, you, if you've got brake lights, you see them come on, stops right away. But yeah, I had to play around with it, um, so the driving on roads is a lot better. So when we finally do get that semi truck, uh, dibs. <laughs> First go. <laughs> I'm really hoping we get a great demand for sugar beet soon. Would be very nice. So how full are you already? Uh, 45%, 28,000, wow. almost 29,000. Of course, I've got the, uh, the double trailer, though, so. Oh, yes, because Taft taught us how to, um, chain the Fleagles together, didn't he? Yep. He taught us so much, and then went back to his people. <laughs> I'm sure we'll see him again sometime. Alright folks, um, well I think we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap this up here. So, 
be sure to join us next time over on Dr. Vesuvius' channel while we uh, get the final barley count off of this field. And also uh, do something we actually haven't done yet this season. Um, you can probably guess what that is. But it's more fun not to and just wait and see. So go over to Dr. V's channel make sure you check it out. But as always, thank you for joining us. And until next time, I'm a Shadowbox. Uh, and I'm a little bit scared by what we've got coming up. <laughs> You've not told me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but again, just make sure you head on over to Dr. V's channel. Link in the description as always. And until next time, have a good one, guys.